Hi guys, in this quick and easy tutorial, I'll show you how to create a wet floor reflection effect in After Effects using no VFX, no plugins, and no AI. Just a few effects and simple masking. Let's get started. Start by duplicating the layer, and to stay organized, rename it Reflection. Now right-click on the Reflection layer, go to Transform, and select Flip Vertical to flip the video. Next select the Rectangle tool and mask the area where you want the reflection to appear. Adjust the mask so it's placed accurately. Then press F on your keyboard to reveal mask feather and set it to 150. This will soften the edges of the mask and help the reflection blend naturally into the surface. Next click toggle switches slash modes and change the reflection layers blend mode to overlay. Press T on your keyboard to reveal the opacity property and set it to 40%. It already looks clean and realistic, but we're not done yet. With the layer selected, press M to reveal the mask, then make sure it's perfectly aligned with the car and the overall footage. Once you're happy with the alignment, click the mask path stopwatch icon to add a keyframe at the beginning of the layer. Now scroll to the end of the layer, and if the mask has moved, simply adjust it so it aligns perfectly with the car at the end of the video as well. Now apply the directional blur effect to the reflection layer. Leave the direction set to zero and change the blur length to 35. Let's quickly preview the video and see how it looks. That looks really cool, we've turned a dry floor into a wet, rainy surface in just a few minutes, with no AI needed. The best part is that we can also create a transition from a dry floor to a wet floor. Let's move about one second forward, like this, and say I want the wet floor effect to start right here. I'll cut the beginning of the reflection layer at this point by holding Alt and pressing the opening bracket key. To make the transition as smooth as possible, I'll add one shake from the AM Film Shakes pack. I'll skip showing how to create the shake, since I've already made plenty of shake tutorials on the channel. I've also created 16 advanced and unique shake presets, which you can get from the link in the description below. Let's preview the transition with the shake applied, and we're done. Hope you learned something new today. If this video helped you, please give it a like. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next tutorial.